Okay, thank you. Thank you, Richard. That was amazing. And thank you to everybody who's been watching. Um, it's so peaceful here. So we're at Sculptures by the Lake near Dorchester. And we've been doing a couple of live streams today. So I was doing the harp live stream this morning. And Richard's just been doing some electronic music uh, just now. Uh, how did that feel? Uh, yeah, it was, that was really, really cool, Stephanie, actually. Um, it was really, really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's, um, it's a complete sort of contrast, isn't it, when you sort of come outside and you perform. And uh, uh, it's, the other thing I've realised is that obviously you can't see stuff quite so much in the sun. So you kind of like <laughs> got the shades on, try to black out the stuff so you can see the buttons so you know what you're actually pressing. It's quite interesting. It's a whole whole different thing. But um, yeah, really, really cool. Amazing um, to see stuff going on and uh, and to kind of just, yeah, like, I think, like you said earlier, just to be outside in nature is, is really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, the nature here is amazing. At lunch, Richard saw a kingfisher, and apparently you'd never seen one before. No, I hadn't. No, no. No, I hadn't, no, I hadden't seen a kingfisher. Um, I feel like uh, maybe I should have done before, but they're, they're quite rare, apparently, um, so I'm told. So I've just, yeah, I just saw it flash past, and there's this flash of like orange and blue. I was like, oh, I know what that is. Um, it's definitely a kingfisher. Yeah, they're there's very few places where you do see them but no that was that was amazing and how do you feel like your music reflected like some of these sculptures i mean this one we've you had in the background is amazing with the um the hollowed out heads yeah um i i have to say when we walked around the corner and we, we saw those heads i was like yeah this is this is definitely the place to, to stream from um it, they're, they're really they're really cool aren't they that um there's something about that uh sort of uh maybe escapism and i think that's why i like the electronic music because i think it does kind of go with that it kind of takes you you go somewhere else um with it um and you can kind of be a i feel like i can be really creative with it so for me to be quite honest i had no idea really what was going on i was just sort of headphones in my own little world thinking wow this is, this is great I really enjoyed the sun um yeah enjoying being here really so um i'll be honest i zoned out a little bit probably you'll probably see my face on camera sort of just disappear and uh, go off into my own little world <laughs> Well, I think I think it was a, a well, it must have been a good world. It looked like you were having a lot of fun, and the geese didn't bother you. No, no, that's that's a real shame actually. Because when we were setting up, these these geese kept um, well, they were having a bit of a fight actually behind us, weren't they? And uh, sort of having a go at each other. Then they all flew off, and I was hoping to sort of capture this amazing flock of geese, sort of just lifting and taking off uh, over the live stream. But uh, I don't know if that happened or not. I didn't hear anything. Uh, no, they they didn't fly off. They take out my drone. But they they disappeared before then, so that was, that was good. Uh, is there anything else that you can? Um, do you feel inspired by today's sculptures to maybe write some music reflecting those? Like some of the sculptures with words in are particularly lovely. Like there's that big reflect one, and the I love the ideas bench. Yeah, I, I have to say I'm particularly struck by the time to reflect thing. I think I mentioned it a bit earlier. And um, it, for me, it's kind of like, I think during lockdown, we've had that sort of time to reflect. And I've kind of like been exploring definitely uh, and seeing what I can do. And uh, every time we do a live stream, it gives me the opportunity to kind of push it a little bit further. And I think today I sort of swatched, swapped around what I was doing. Um, and I think I'll be honest, the sculptures here, they kind of, for me, push a few boundaries. Um, I mean, these, these heads behind me, like like we said, they're, they're and I think um, that might be something I'm going to take away from this and just sort of be a bit freer. I think lockdown's given me that chance to be a bit freer as well. So um, I feel like, uh, yeah, there's definitely take a leaf out of Simon's book and uh, uh, kind of, um, yeah, try and be a bit, 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 be a bit more creative and push a few more boundaries. So I def definitely think over the next few weeks um, I might throw a few more uh, uh, fireworks in and see what we can come up with just to, to push it out there and see, yeah, see where we end up. Yeah, because one of Simon's... Uh, things with this park is that he wanted beauty modern art to be beautiful and it certainly is and instead of I think a lot of us think of um, some of the stuff in like Tate Modern um, I think some of, when we think of modern art we think Tracy Emin we think David um, or the one with the chopped pig in half <laughs> it's that sort of we think of that because that's the stuff that it hits the headlines because it is yeah, this is really beautiful. It's amazing. You were in your lake. It's that it's that beautiful blend between nature and aesthetically pleasing, and they complement each other beautifully. 
the sculpture park by the lakes in Dorchester. And for So people in and I love playing the harp this morning and Richard just he's live streaming electronic if you would like any more information about what we do, please follow us at One City One Light on Facebook, Twitch, Instagram and Twitter. And also we will be uploading these videos, these live videos to YouTube later. And before we go, I realize I've forgotten something. It's our face mask. Go on, I'm going to grab the mic. Shall I grab the mic and you, um, you, uh, you, you demo, demo this? Because I feel like you're, you're definitely the one to demo these. Uh, Stephanie's been working really, really hard um, to put these together. Look at this. This is uh, absolutely... I think they're uh, really stylish. Now, you taught me a little bit of a trick with this, didn't you? Um, um, because my glasses kept steaming up the other day. So you put your glasses over them. And you know what? I think I've got one as well. So I'm going to give you the microphone back. Oh, th this one. Uh, do you know what? All right. I, I was going for the stylish tweed, but um, uh, oh, no. let's go for this. I'll give you the microphone back. Rich has gone for the uh, 80s. I'm pretty sure, as a very small kid, I had a jacket, a sort of shell suit, <laughs> in a very, very similar sort of colours. But I just thought, when I was choosing the fabric to make these masks, I thought... It needs to be bright and cheerful. It's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a gloomy few months, and I thought we need colour. I, I thought they were pretty cool, pretty snazzy. We've got rainbows. We've got flowers. What else, yeah, what else have we got? So we've got anchors. Some of these are actually yeah, fabrics made from clothes that I've made. This I think this is, the this, zigzag. This is one of my personal favourites. It's brilliant. And the main thing is to keep um, other people safe from them. If you would like to purchase one or some of your friends, um, uh, go to OCOL, which is onecityonelight.tv, and there's a link there to our shop, and you can, you can make them. And then come in different sizes. So all you need to do is measure your um, face from your nose to your chin, and you can get them get them to order. Yeah. How much are they, Stephanie? Four ninety nine plus postage. But we do combine postage if there's more than one. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks once again to the Sculpture Park and to Richard, Sam, who's our cameraman, and Toby, who's our producer and general technical guy. And thanks to Simon, his team, and please follow us at One City, One Light. And have a brilliant rest of the week. Bye.